Happy birthday, Kennedy. Oh, my little alien daughter is aging up. I remember when she aged up from a toddler to a child and it was Ivy's first kid and it was just like, it made me hit me in the feels, okay? I won't even lie, it hit me in the feels. Hi guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons Lefacy Challenge. I have done quite a bit between the last episode and this episode, primarily talking about mods that I got, and I added two brand new rooms. So this is Meadow's new room. Her favorite color is violet, I think, or purple or something violet, yeah. So this is her room. It's very small, okay, I do realize this, and she does also age up today <laughs> along with kennedy and lee so to say we are going to have a boring uneventful episode is very incorrect i'm gonna skip this song because it's a little bit loud okay that one's even louder <laughs> i like how i go from one loud song to the next all right i guess that one wasn't actually that loud after all um but I um, also added this room over here, which I don't know who I'm gonna give this room to. Obviously, we have enough rooms for everyone to have their own space, but I feel like I should definitely keep this room the nursery because I feel like we're definitely gonna have multiple babies at one time. So I'm gonna keep this the nursery and then I guess when Nico ages up, he can have this room all by himself. I don't know though. Well, I'll have to see. Uh, Cause I definitely want everyone to have their own room. That just makes sense to me. But yeah, we definitely have enough space now. I added two brand new rooms. So this is what the front of the house looks like now. I kind of was a little bit meticulous with my roofing here. And I know this looks fucking weird. I just realized how weird this looks. I mean, does it really look that weird though? I don't, it feels like there's like a window missing right here. And I did delete a window right there. I just couldn't find a way to get it placed down. It was like snapping to a different wall. And it was like upsetting me. So I gave up on it. Um, but that is our brand new house with two brand new bedrooms. I think I did the roofing pretty well. Uh, I think it turned out okay. Every every tile is covered. So I think from now on, like this is a note to myself, but when I do roofing, I definitely want to make sure I hold down shift and cover it in tiles first and then add the roofing on because I tend to like miss spots or not drag out the roof far enough and then it ends up making it so like rain goes through the fucking roof. So anyway uh long story short we have a beautiful brand new house i am so excited i think i'm also going to change these doors in the back of the house just because they look a little i don't know i don't i feel like we could do like a sliding glass door or something and it would look a little bit better in this spot so i'm gonna add a sliding glass door i think one came with seasons though i don't i'm not a fan of the one that came with seasons so this is our front door actually oh i have to place this with um move objects on I'm pretty sure because I can't place it down. Why is this light here? This is a weird... I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be a different light. Um, but because I downloaded this house off of Mod The Sims, I decided to do that thing where it like replaces the CC to the best of its ability. And it just looks absolutely bonkers. So now we got this. We're stuck We're stuck with this for the time being. Like, did you guys see this? How it's like snapping to a different wall. It's snapping to this wall over here. This is what was happening with the windows upstairs. It kept snapping to a separate wall and it was like really irking me please don't okay i'm i'm going i'm gonna go i'm gonna go nuts if i if i mess with that anymore um i'm instead of adding those lights i'm gonna add those really small ones that i use everywhere i don't know what they're called i don't even know where i got them these ones right here i'm just gonna put them everywhere so that it's very nice and lit up i feel like for someone who makes youtube videos like maybe i wouldn't use these in my own current households but for somebody that makes like youtube videos and stuff i need to be able to see what's going on and i need to be able to show you guys what's going on so i feel like those lights are not that cheaty even though they're only 25 simoleons and they literally light up so much so much of an area um so i'm gonna go back over here we're gonna add a nice little door that's not the door i wanted i, I grabbed the savvy the savvy seller's door i was like hey yeah let's let's make a shop in our backyard that sounds great um okay let's see maybe this i'll just do this base game sliding glass door it's very cute i love this one it's so basic but it's really really nice so i'm gonna grab this and i think oh we need to buy a burglar alarm too because i just realized we don't have one and watch us get burglar like tonight and i like literally just bought one that'd be that'd be great timing so i'm gonna drag this coloring of the door to the back door if it wants to go there we go and then let me grab the burglar alarm um so also kennedy 
I put her money in her own bank account. So she's got her own little trust going. I guess we can call it her trust fund that Vafura got her. <laughs> it's kind of weird to refer to it as like a trust fund, I feel like, because like, I don't know, it's just her inheritance. Can inheritance be a trust fund? I think so, right? You can turn inheritance money into a trust fund. The only way actually, just you guys know this, the only way, so say you're going to college and you want like a better financial aid. The only way to have the government knock at their hands in your financial aid is to put it into a trust fund. Isn't that kind of interesting? So anyway, when I was going to college, I had to kind of like, I had to kind of like look um, up ways to get better financial aid. In my research, I stumbled across that. So I was like, I guess that's how rich people like get out of, you know, getting shitty financial aid is they put their kids money in a trust fund. So very interesting, very interesting. I'm going to have Lee go upstairs and go and use the toilets. I'm going to have him then go downstairs to go and grab a little bite to eat. He's going to eat some deep fried chicken. And we need to then have either Ivy or Max uh, plan a party. <laughs> well, this is great. No, they're not going to be able to plan a party because they both have work tomorrow night. So I think what I'm going to do is we're gonna have kennedy like throw the big family gathering you know this makes me really sad that that lee and ivy cannot not lee and ivy oh my god maximus and ivy cannot be there for their kids uh birthday celebration because they both have to work it makes me really fucking sad like i guess that's just kind of like the reality of the situation is parents have to work they got things to do that sort of thing they can't always be there to um attend their kids celebrations right so that's like bottom line ivy and max they have to work quite a bit they got to work for their money and yeah today is no exception we, we definitely got to have them work today i'm gonna have him pick up meadow oh i should also mention to you guys i got the randomized genetics mod um i had a little message up here where it says randomized genetics started so what that does by the way i don't think i explained it very well in my last episode but the randomized genetics mod basically makes it so your the game does a better pull of both parents genetics so for example what i can do is go over to lee here and i can click on him and i can hit the um i can hit the randomized genetics button and what this will do is do a better pull of both max and ivy's facial features okay there's like a problem right now with routing you guys see this how they can't go up the staircase like why is it doing that why is me going outside to try and eat his chicken wing okay you gotta relax girl go just wait just wait it just wait a second wait for your husband to get upstairs all right and then you can come upstairs i hate routing in the sims 3 it's like that honestly it's probably just a problem with the spiral staircases because they don't seem to be quite all that functional okay wait she needs to go use the bathroom what are you doing why why do you have her in your arms hold on stand up with her i think she's about to go in her diapers so i'm just gonna wait for him to, to for her to go in her diapers so he can change her because that's about to be right now right is it gonna be right now uh it has to pee she has to pee right now okay can you go in your diaper already please maybe maybe not nope you're just gonna go right to bed okay whatever uh i'm gonna have max come over all right dude you're trapping your wife in the crib so she can't get out now when you do that i hope you know that max i'm gonna send him back down to go to bed i think he works later than his wife or does he work earlier than her uh he works earlier than her so yeah he he's probably the one of most priority right now to go and um go to sleep right now but i'm gonna have lee he's he's gonna go run upstairs and take a shit so i'm gonna have him go up there and then, no, you're not going to go and deep fry food. Go and take care of your children. What are you doing? Ivy's not taking care of Nico. I don't know why. Go and change his dirty diaper. Feed him on the floor. This is like a lot of baby stuff. I, I told you guys, when you have a lot of babies like this, this is like what the episodes become. It's just everything is consumed by the babies. Like there's no, there's really no time to do anything else. And it's just a lot of, a lot of baby heaviness. All right. A lot of baby heaviness. What is this? Lovebirds. Wait, 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 wait. Heather Crosby and Ross Wolf lovebirds what lovebirds they're not lovebirds they're what the what game hello ross and gator are still married what is lovebirds and ross is gay i'm so confused why does that say lovebirds okay i think this might be like a story progression thing i think like when a sim moves into another sim's house and the game doesn't have an explanation for it it might just pull like a random explanation um because yeah ross is married to a man and he's still married to gator so i'm a little confused maybe did they they might have gotten taken out of their cast like the cast that makes it so that they can't break up but on the family tree it still says that they are together so i'm 
genuinely so confused all right i'm gonna go over here oh okay they don't have it okay that would make a lot of sense so i think what happened is i re-imported my nros settings um and it made it so that ross and gator why am i getting like a bunch of money right now from what am i getting i just got like a fuck ton of money what was that for oh kennedy's book she finished her book okay yes the house is loading right now so the game is going to be very laggy for just a second here um all right so that makes a lot more sense to me why there's females moving in to the household i don't know why it picked for ross to be with a woman because i'm pretty sure his preference is men like like a lot like heavy heavy heavily weighted towards the, the male side of the spectrum um and i don't think that there's like even an ounce of him liking women in him so and, I, and i'm saying this purely based off of the, the the numbers of his when i click on him and go to gender preference okay so what i'm gonna do is to combat this because otherwise it's going to keep trying to break um ross and gator up which obviously i don't want them to break up but that's just like story progression at work so it still says that they're married which is good uh hopefully it didn't get like too far to the point you know too far gone where they're literally breaking up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to both of them and i'm gonna put them in the no breakup cast and then i gotta go over to gator and i gotta find him too i think if i put it like on one sim it works because you know the one sim obviously can't break up with the other sim uh, but i'm gonna go find gator just you know so he can't initiate something like that either i don't know where he is why are they all out and about it's like it's it's 6 a.m where is everybody in this house they have such a ginormous house like this is absolutely insane do you guys see um jaden's room i also gave it a like a, i changed it up a little bit because i didn't want to have him have such a, like a juvenile room um so yeah i did change that up and the house is still loading so i apologize oh and i got a bunch of errors on my lot that's fantastic we got a bunch of errors from the the dean family i guess i think i need to do the total ton reset pretty soon because it's getting it's getting a little bit laggy in in, in my town um maybe i could do like a save cleaner at some point all right i'm gonna go sim i'm gonna go focus and then we're gonna go over to gator i don't know where he is oh he's down here okay hi gator all right i'm gonna go over to him and I'm going to do the same thing I did with Ross. I'm going to go end Ross, story progression, sim options, manual. And you will not have these casts, by the way. You will not have the no breakup, no steady. You won't have these unless you physically make them. And all that is, is I go in, I go in here and I go uh, romance, allow breakup. And I turn that to false. And what I do is I turn that into a cast so that I don't have to manually like go in and, you know, squint and search and search through all those settings. Cause there's a lot of NRL settings and it's like a little bit overwhelming. So anyway, a long story short, that makes it so Ross and Gator cannot break up. And I have the same thing on Luke and Ginny McDermott, but like I said, because I think they, um, my, when I re-imported my NRL settings, I think it, it like voided everyone that were, that was previously in casts. So Maximus's parents right now can also probably break up just like Ross and Gator are able to break up. So I'm going to go and do the same thing for them. I guess I could No, I don't want to do household options because if you add the no breakup cast for the household, it's going to make it so like every single sim in said household, um, even when those kiddos age up like like Maximus's younger siblings, it's also going to make it so they can't break up with their significant others. And I don't really care like if they break up with their significant others. It's just like I just want the sims that I feel like would be together forever to stay together. So where is OK, so here's luke right here so i'm gonna add the you know breakup cast and of course we're getting lots of message birthday message and notifications because today we have quite a lot of birthday parties to do and i think what i'm gonna do is oh he still has it on okay great all right that's cool all right so i think i already had it on him because i did it after the fact after i imported those enroll settings so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna close their house interior now so my game isn't trying to like load what their family's doing at the same time um I, did i do it for the wolf family did i did I uh, come over here and close their interior? By the way, I just want to let you guys know that and a couple of episodes ago, someone told me that Lobos in Spanish means wolf <laughs> and Ross and Gator are the wolf family. And why this is interesting actually is because Ivy's younger brother, um, Jaden married, uh, I think his name was, what was it? Marco Lobos or something like that. So first of all, they started the leprosy off as the wolf family. And then Jaden married a Lobos making him, and Lobos means wolf in Spanish. So that makes him a wolf again. So... <laughs> I thought that was really funny. So, you know, he started off life as a wolf and then he turned to a Lobos. But, you know, it has the same meaning, just in a different language is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, anyway, oh my God, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Is this, is this deep fryer? But also really cute over here because Kennedy is teaching her little alien brother, Nico, how to walk. That is so adorable. Ivy, girl, what is your problem? Go eat your fucking deep fried corn dog. It's pissing me off. Why are they like, what is in the way? Girl, eat your fucking hot dog. I swear to God, or corn dog, whatever it is. I'm gonna teleport her around. 
I think because this house is so small, we're having we're having some routing issues right now. Go eat your fucking corn dog. Oh my god, she has another wish to have another baby. Ivy, are you serious, girl? Come on. We 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 don't have the money for this. Why do you want to have another child? Come on. Oh, I can't believe this. This is actually kind of unbelievable. Like, where do where, where does she propose we put the baby? I want to know. I mean, I guess we could stick somebody together. What I might end up doing is sticking Nico together and Ollie together because they're so close in age. I feel like they would share a bedroom or something like that. Um, but anyway, let's read the description of Kennedy's book, The Green Life. So her carpool is or her bus. Sorry is coming in an hour i need to make sure lee's also ready yeah there we go right everyone's everyone's heading off to school now unfortunately kennedy never learned how to drive which really sucks because she was at like level two or three or something like that she was really close i mean maybe we could have her skip school on her birthday that doesn't seem like the worst thing ever um she also has work today okay well that changes my plans a little bit because i was actually gonna have her throw the party but that's not gonna be able to happen now because she has work after we get home um or after after she gets out of school she has work so she is probably not gonna have a birthday party damn we were gonna have like so many birthday parties in this episode and my plans just got shattered because everyone has fucking work and i guess i could have them take work off but i feel like that's not realistic for like a working family like this like everyone needs to be working and doing their kind of thing and making money to keep their own stay and everything just because they have such a big family like it's not reasonable to expect them to just take days off like i mean i would i would be able to if i really wanted to but all right so what i think i'm going to do is i'm still gonna have her throw that birthday party but it's gonna be pretty late at night like it's going to be seven o'clock ish is probably when i will start it um and i think someone gets out of work at seven right no the earliest they get out is eight okay so we got a little bit of finessing to do here i guess kennedy i probably could have her leave work at like six or something but you know she gets there at four so is it really worth me having her go into work at all like i don't think so i don't really think so all right anyway so let's read the description of kennedy's book the green life which i love that name so much for the book loves in the air for demarco lobos and Jaden lobos okay so they got back together that's fantastic oh no i avoided the message or did i close it out let's see here i think i can go back in and we can see what the green life is all about if i go in here to uh writing and okay so it says that here's all the available genres and then we have written john or written books here so it says the green life oh i can't see oh it was a it was a it was a hit though and it was also 342 pages wow i'm so sad i couldn't get that little write-up so i mean i mean you guys saw it earlier so it really isn't that big of a deal but i would have liked to read it i guess i can read it back in editing um but yeah it was a humor book it was a hit it was 342 pages and she will get 571 in royalties so she's making quite a bit like i feel like kennedy's the kind of girl to write fan fiction and then to like actually you know her, her fan fiction one day flourishes into like real books and real novels i think that's like such a such a cool idea and such a cool thing to kind of explore so yeah you know she's banking from her fan fictions i won't lie to you guys she's really banking from her fan fictions <laughs> um anyway i'm gonna wake max up actually no i'm not gonna wake max up because he's almost fully rested and i feel like i should have him get fully rested before i pull him out of bed before i yank him out of bed um, oh, and DeMarco Lobos and Jaden Lobos have uh, been cutie pies, apparently. I'm going to have these guys quickly woohoo because Ivy has a wish to. And I really want to lock in the have a child wish for her. So I'm going to pull them both in the bed. They're going to go and do like a little risky woohoo. I'm not going to have them try for baby or anything like that. Though, I do feel like whenever I see... Oh my god, I thought the wish voided. I was so scared there for a second. Whenever I do see the uh, have a have a child wish i always i always grant myself like one try for baby um but because they already have so many kids i feel like they would not actively be trying but they also on the other hand wouldn't be preventing pregnancy so that's just like my two cents anyway i'm gonna send her back to bed and we're gonna have max come upstairs and go and take care of all his children you know you got a lot of children max i hope you know that buddy i hope you know that you got like so many kids so anyway what i wanted to say i've been wanting to say this for like the past 18 minutes is that I did the randomized genetics on Meadow, on Ollie, and on Lee, I think. I think those are the three people I did it on. So what that means is that they're not going to look like what I aged them up to look like before. Like, you know, whenever a baby's born in my left disease, I always age them up to see what they're going to look like in the future. That is going to be a little bit different now, what they're going to look like, um, because I did re-randomize their genetics. And again, what that does is it pulls a better percentage between Max and Ivy's face templates so that it factors like what they look like in a little bit more than it does in base game Sims 3. And once again, that is a mod that I will leave in the description box below. It is on Mall The Sims, so if you guys would like to go 
and uh and go grab it there it is you don't have to randomize genetics for every baby by the way um it's just for like if a baby is being born in your town it will automatically roll the genetics when they are born but if obviously if you already have sims in your game that you wanted to you know randomize their face templates then that is that that is how you do it all you have to do is click on them and hit randomize genetics um and i think that even if they're dead i think it can like randomize the genetics from the dead parents so very interesting i'm going to have max come over here and he's going to go pick up nico we need to have him potty train him i'm not sure he's going to want to though because he's probably going to throw a tantrum to be honest with you guys because he is in a bad mood right now uh because he's tired so i mean i guess we'll see max is like super dad though like he's literally taking care he's juggling three little tiny babies at once so i i applaud you max i mean he has all these babies and like i was like you better be able to take care of him and you know he's doing a damn good job at taking care of him i'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys so nico is not throwing a tantrum on a little potty chair thank god i honestly thought he was gonna throw a tantrum and we wouldn't be able to go and potty train him but this is turning out rather well so you know it's things things that must be done are getting done which is great um i'm so sad that today's kennedy's last day at school i definitely feel like i should have max and ivy take the day off like i i, I know i know that i should but i really don't think that they would because they obviously have such a big family that and this doesn't seem plausible oh my god guys really okay i'm gonna teleport you guys downstairs like this these little areas these little landings that we have in this house are honestly kind of upsetting me because it makes it so that my sims always try and route downstairs or upstairs to go and put their kiddos and grab their kiddos and put them in the crib like it's just it's super annoying that way but i you guys know i just teleport them around because i cannot deal with the shitty routing in this industry like that is that is one thing that if there's one thing in this game that gets under my skin it's the shitty routing in this game honestly <laughs> anyway i'm gonna have max come over and grab some apple pancakes he's gonna go and get all ready for work he's got work in just a couple of hours he works he works sooner than ivy does he works at three and she works at what like four or something yeah four so um she's still fast asleep oh his carpool is this carpool seriously already here how is that possible how is that possible i'm still having him like eat pancakes and everything seriously taking care of kids in this game is so fucking time consuming i'm not even gonna lie um today is not a game day by the way so he really doesn't have any rush or anything like that i'm gonna have him take like a half shower um ivy also needs to wake up so that she can get ready she needs to go take a shower just like her husband did she doesn't really need to eat though so she's all set on that front but why why do they have like little cooking books in the bottom of their fridge did you guys see that when you open the door they have like tiny little cooking books i'm so confused so i'm gonna have him go and get in his carpool once he finishes up eating his breakfast his very late breakfast like his 2 2 3 p.m breakfast he's currently chatting with meadows so i'm gonna have him um go and just go quickly to go run into his carpool and kennedy's carpool also comes so what i'm gonna do is quickly while we are waiting for her to go back to work or go to work period is i am going to have her go to her phone and we're gonna throw the party at 7 p.m now right when our carpool comes i am going to send her off to work but um we're gonna have her get out early at 6 p.m so that she can make her birthday party so we're gonna throw the birthday party it's gonna be for 7 p.m we're gonna do casual attire and of course we gotta invite all the people in town that we have you know encountered this this leprosy very important that we represent everybody we're gonna invite luke we're gonna invite Ginny. We're also gonna invite Betty, of course. You know, Ivy and Betty haven't talked in a really long time. They kind of grown a little bit distant through the years. That's what ends up happening usually with these leprosies is, you know, people grow apart, people do different things. So sadly, that's just the reality of the situation. I think that is everyone I want to invite. It's basically just our family members, to be honest with you guys. I would, I mean, we can invite Mary too, because that's, um, that's Kennedy's friend. I don't want to invite too many Sims though, because we kind of have a smaller house. Like our, our house is on the smaller side for sure. Oh, we should, we should invite Sunshine. Lee and Sunshine, they go way back. We invited Sunshine to one of his slumber parties and they really hit it off. So anyway, it's going to be at 7 p.m. So I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to throw that party and then we're going to have her quickly speed off to work right now. Her carpool's already here. I'm going to have her pop in a tab cast just as she's heading to work. And also this will stay in as she's at work so it really is like worth it because you know there's some my sims can obviously get their skills up as they are at work you know on the job so she's gonna take our little umbrella here uh, max is currently going to work right now i'm gonna have him work out in the gym what is ivy doing ivy you have your carpool here in an hour too she's like prioritizing taking care of her babies when you know damn well that the babysitter can do this just fine so i'm gonna have her also 
go you know she doesn't use, need to use the toilet but um when is her car doesn't she have work at four okay i was wondering why why she wasn't heading off to work it's because she has her own car the game doesn't send her a carpool okay i'm gonna have her quickly pop in a guitar tab cast and then we can have her go to work quickly here so there we go go ivy go she's definitely gonna be late yeah i didn't realize that the game doesn't send her a carpool just because she is uh she's got her own car i forget that the game does that i'm gonna I mean, I don't. Uh, I was gonna say I'm gonna put the car in the garage so that I remember, so I can look at it. But yeah, that that I, I'm I'm just it's it's not worth my time. Oh my god, they, why is she? Why does she run all the way down to the road? Can I ask? Why does she run all the way down to the road? Here she goes. She's zooming away. That's kind of one of the bad things about the cars in The Sims 3, right? Is that the game doesn't send your family a carpool. I'm pretty sure that's an Enros thing, to be honest. I'm pretty sure that's an Enros setting. So I probably could just change that, but it's fine okay so i gotta kind of keep an eye on the time because kennedy's gonna be leaving work at uh six instead of leaving work at seven so her job performance is probably gonna be on the decline like heavy heavy decline because she's gonna be leaving a whole ass hour early which you know obviously makes for a bad recipe for um getting job promotions but that's completely fine i guess so i gotta i gotta keep an eye oh lee's over here at his scouts that's cute and he says lee learned the proper way to salute others that's so cute i didn't realize lee was at his after school activity right now that's that's cool all right i'm gonna send him home too once he gets out now it is 5 p.m right now it's not six yet but kennedy will be leaving work at six so i'm gonna just put on speed three as we wait for our girl to get out in the meantime though i guess we could have lee come over here and just finish up the apple pancakes that his dad was eating kind of gross that his dad like left his leftovers out on the table and lee's like coming home to you know eat the rest of them that's kind of really fucking gross but whatever i mean i guess you know like father like son right he is his dad's twin i think i re-randomized his genetics and he actually doesn't look like his dad that much anymore like i said him meadow and ollie all got different faces so yeah i'm gonna okay kennedy you gotta go home now so she made 100 simoleons today unfortunately that's not really gonna be that much she's only doing her part-time job so that she can make her stay at the family but uh yeah she's got a she's got a party to attend to we got things to do places to see birthday parties to celebrate yeah we're really cutting it close right now i'm so sad that ivy and max actually won't be able to attend their kids birthday party especially when this is such a big one for kennedy but I think this kind of goes with the storyline right is that max and ivy really are hardworking people and they work really hard to you know support their family really big family they gotta they gotta work somehow so it looks like we have our first guest here we have Ginny and mary dean so hello guys we have betty here too Ooh, she decided to bring some burgers which looks very good um hi grandma how you doing i guess this wouldn't technically be kennedy's grandma this would be like her step grandma oh jaden jaden is so cute i love jaden so much oh did is Betty leaving? Oh, no, the, the babysitter's leaving. Okay. Can you guys get inside all right? Yeah, I think everyone's inside. So, oh, I definitely want to have us come over and eat some of these hamburgers. Those look delicious. And <laughs> Lee is over here trying to fight pirate invaders. Little does he know he actually needs to come over here and age up very soon. What did Ross bring? Ross brought some fish and chips. Gator brought some French toast, which I don't expect anything less than from Gator because he was back in his day like a celebrated five-star chef, right? So he's got very good uh cooking skills he he can't find a place to put his food down which i think is so cute we're having a little bit of a clog by the front door i won't even lie Jaden is in front of dallas shallows's face which you know kind of an awkward situation but uh, i guess we we just will pretend like we don't see it all right i do not see her so i'm gonna grab a birthday cake and we are going to start to throw these birthday celebrations we're gonna do meadows of course first because i mean meadows is like the one of least importance i think on this list i think lee is probably highest importance or maybe kennedy i'm not sure maybe maybe lee yeah i think lee is because he's obviously our heir for this generation so we got some stuff to do i like how like the parents don't even know that meadow's aging up back at home they're gonna come home and you know, their little toddler daughter is gonna be like a fully grown child <laughs> it's kind of funny um i mean kennedy will be like a fully grown woman right and lee will be like a teenage boy so it's gonna be it might even be weirder for them to see those two you know aged up but yeah anyway here we go so happy birthday meadow oh i love the birthday celebrations these are like some of my favorite things to throw in this game and just like having all of our family members here and stuff like that look at ross and I, I like how all the people Jaden, ross um luke we got dallas over here everyone's not even paying attention to meadow's 
age up. They're just, you know, eating the food, the very nice food that everyone brought for the party. So anytime now, Meadow, you can age up, you know, it's okay. You don't got to be scared, all right? You don't got to be scared to age up. There we go. So Kennedy's blowing out the candles for Meadow. How cute. I like how Lee's here. He's just, he's enjoying the party. So cute. I love it so much. So she's going to put her down on the ground now. And then we got lots more celebrating to do, lots more aging up to do. I'm also going to sell this birthday cake just so that they can't uh, come over here and grab a slice because we have two more birthdays to do and I don't want them to, after every single age up, go over there and grab the little birthday cake. And I realized I can just shift click on the sim and do trigger age transition. I know that, like I already know that, um, but I think it's a little bit more official to do it like the birthday cake method. So that's why I do it that way. Oh, and Dallas is actually complimenting our party or something like that over here and he says sometimes i think fish can read our lips um except i guess <laughs> oh meadow here we go happy birthday meadow so due to our excellent parenting skills we can choose a trait for her to develop so i'm going to give her rebellious oh my god meadow's gonna be our little rebellious gal oh and maximus got a job promotion as well he got a promotion to starter as well as a bonus of 924 simoleons it says time well spent on the bench and in practice has earned you a position on the starting lineup listen to the crowd roar as you hit the field it sure beats the shouts of the players asking you for fresh towels play hard and your autograph might actually be worth something soon so he makes 134 simoleons which is quite a bit um so people are starting to leave as well so i definitely need to come over here and start to get the show on the road so i'm gonna go and grab another birthday cake i'm gonna get rid of these plates over here now i wish ross and Jaden would move like I, oh i'm just gonna grab them <laughs> i'm just gonna grab them and move them out because we do not have the time to sit here dicking around trying to have them obviously route better um so we're gonna now age up kennedy our dear kennedy my little alien daughter kennedy i love you let me make sure lee's over here lee's like freaking sleeping and he's like the next one on our list that needs to age up right now so yeah max made it though look at that max made it to our birthday celebration so that's that's very nice actually what are why is everyone like crowding in the living room i'm so confused about 20 minutes later kennedy finally got to the cake thank god it took long enough i think i may just age lee up like on the spot so he doesn't have to route to the cake but here we go i'm glad that everyone is finally celebrating now so happy birthday kennedy oh my little alien daughter is aging up i remember when she aged up from a toddler to a child and it was ivy's first kid and it was just like it made me hit me in the feels okay i won't even lie it hit me in the feels speaking of ivy where is she right now oh she's just getting out of work now okay yeah she's not gonna be home for kennedy's age up but happy birthday kennedy yay i'm so happy for her she's gonna celebrate a little bit you know twirl her little what are these things called party party something it's not a party popper is it i don't think so i'm not sure what this thing is called right here rattle maybe i don't know everyone is pretty much already leaving ivy only made 244 simoleons today i don't know how that's possible when she's like literally level five in her career but anyway here we go happy birthday kennedy i wonder what trait she's gonna get um we can choose her trait it says so actually she already has uh, enough traits because she yeah i already gave her her set of traits so there we go she's got her five traits good sense of humor shy genius excitable and a natural cook i'm going to very quickly sell the birthday cake so that no one can go and grab a slice otherwise they will all crowd last but not least we are going to age up lee in this episode we are going to age him up just by shift clicking on him and triggering his age transition so here we go happy birthday lee i think lee is going to officially be our heir for the next generation so this is very exciting i feel like this is genuinely a party like we got the music going we got the food we got a lot of people and i think ivy ivy just made it to see her last kiddos age up i'm so happy that at least she can make one of them to see their age up um but i don't know oh we can choose a trait for him too i, I didn't think we were going to be able to i wanted to give him like a uh kind of an outdoorsy oh okay it's because i already gave him five traits yeah okay so he's already got all of his traits i think i gave him loves the heat and loves the outdoors i'm pretty sure for his last two traits that i was going to give him um but that is going to be it for me guys i hope you did enjoy obviously lee looks like a mess and kennedy looks like a mess meadow looks like a mess i'm definitely gonna have to give a lot of makeovering before the last episode but look at everyone breaking it down this literally feels like such a party to me like it just it just works it just works okay it just works and ivy wants to see 
Kennedy become a doctor. I don't think that's going to happen. Kennedy really likes to write, so I don't think we're going to be having her become a doctor at any point, but <laughs> thanks for trying. I appreciate you trying, Ivy, to try and see your daughter succeed like that. Max and uh, Betty are over here breaking it down to some music. I love it. It just feels like a party. This, this is like the first party in a really long time that I honestly haven't been that stressed out at and has also been quite enjoyable um, also. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I will catch you all in the next one and peace out. Oh.